Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike with Alpha Reptiles and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the BioDude fruit fly media for your various different kind of fruit flies. Before I get into the video, I wanted to say that if you guys are interested, I actually have a discount code with Reptiles R Us, these amazing Canadian people. They're the only carrier of BioDude in Canada. They ship throughout Canada as well as the United States. So if you guys are interested in picking some up, make sure you do that. While you're at checkout, you can use the code BOOM2018 and you guys will save 10% off your uh, media. Make sure you go check that out. The link will be in the description as well as on the screen somewhere right now. Without further ado, Let's get into what you guys need. For those of you guys that don't know how to make your own fruit fly mix, this is a perfect option for you. As you can see on the table right now, we have very few things that you're going to need to complete this. Keith at Reptiles R Us uh, has this brand, All Things Reptile, where he sells the 32 ounce containers, the polyfabric lids, as well as the Excelsior, and of course, the Bow Dude Media. Now that pretty much covers everything that you're going to need. Really, all you need is the media itself, Bow Dude Media, you guys can see there. You're gonna need however many of your uh, 32 ounce containers. I have three here because I make three different cultures every week, uh, and that feeds all my frogs. Then of course, to go with the three cultures, we have three lids. Basically what this polyfabric does is it prevents the larva and the fruit flies from getting through and escaping your culture. And it also allows the circulation of air. So these are definitely a necessity. Excelsior is one of the best products. This is used to increase the surface area of your fruit fly cultures because what it does is just adds a ton more surface area for the flies to uh, crawl around as well as the larva to climb out of the media with. So this is definitely something that I'd recommend. If you don't have it already and you're making your own cultures, make sure you pick some up. It is really, really useful. The second last two things that you're going to need is a third of a cup measuring cup just to divvy out the media as well as a spoon that you're going to use to stir in the hot water. Now speaking of the hot water uh, I have boiling water on the stove right now so I'll go get that and I'll be right back. Here we are we have the boiling water as you guys can see this is plenty of boiling water you do not need that much and with that being said we can just get on to making the cultures. Step one of making the media is going to be adding the one third of a cup of media into each container. Then after that, what you're going to do is add in about a third of a cup. It might need to be closer to uh, two thirds of a cup or uh, about a half a cup of the warm water. You're gonna stir that until it's a nice consistency like you can see here. Uh, you can see it's kind of like a really, really thick smoothie or even runny mashed potatoes. Then what you're gonna wanna do is add in a handful of the Excelsior super easy to do make sure you spread it out as much as you can and stick it into the media don't just lie it on top and then once the culture is cooled down for about an hour or so in order to speed up the cooling process i ended up putting these guys in the fridge so it took about 20 30 minutes and we are ready to seed the cultures so i'm doing this one-handed so bear with me basically what you want to do is take your already started and sprouting culture and just tap a bunch of flies into the new culture. Uh, that's probably more than I needed, but I mean, I have plenty of flies, so that's what I put in there. And with that being said, I will do it to the other three. Just a pro tip, once you're finished with making the media, make sure you take the lid and a Sharpie and mark the date as well as the month on your fruit fly lid because you wanna make sure that you keep them for only one month. After one month, mites and stuff will start to grow uh, and hatch, so you do not wanna keep them for any more than about five weeks, uh, even that's pushing it. So, And that wraps up the video, you guys. I have all three cultures set and ready to go fully loaded with fruit flies and that's how you make cultures with the bio dudes fruit fly media um, it works very well I've had it for uh, going on one of my cultures for a month and you do get pretty good results I will continue to test it out and report back to you guys at another time remember if you guys want to save some money on the bio dudes universal fruit fly media to use the coupon code boom 2018 on the Reptiles R Us checkout page, you'll save 10% off your media. And uh, yeah, I, I don't personally get anything from it, so 
It's just a discount for you guys. Now, if you guys liked the video, please click that like button. It really helps me out. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or video suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comment section. If you like these kind of how-to videos, make sure you leave that down there, and maybe you want to see more, as well as a suggestion that you wouldn't mind me filming. Also, if you're interested in reptiles, fish, amphibians, or plants, make sure you click that subscribe button and then play Ding Dong Ditch with the doorbell next to it. That way you'll get notified every time I go live on YouTube or post a YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys try out some of the BioDude Fruit Fly Media for yourselves and we'll catch you in the next video. Later!